Hello there. First, we, we've got a problem with this pepper mill. It's failing to grind pepper. So what the plan is to do is to sharpen the mill wheel on the, on the pepper mill. Uh, what you need to do this, one pepper mill, one bowl to put the pepper in, one screwdriver, one file, one piece of sandpaper, and a rag to get the burr off in a second. The file is probably the important part. For this file, it's very thin and knife-like, and so it's able to cut a fine groove into the mill wheel. Let's get started. First, empty the pepper out. Then disassemble, disassemble the mill. There's two halves to the mill, the mill wheel itself and the, the base to the mill really. This is static to the pot and this is the bit that rotates. The problem here is that the mill wheel gets worn, worn down by uh, use over many years. Right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna cut small circumferential grooves following the previous grooves that were made when, or, or when, when manufactured. So all you need to do is grab the stem of the mill wheel and get your very fine file and just follow the grooves that are present. And so what your aim is to follow the groove and to just make it a little bit deeper. I'm a bit quicker on this than I would be if I was doing it first time, but I've done this one already. So rotate it through quarter turns. Following the lines of previous machining. It would take you quite a few minutes longer if, you ha if you're doing it first time. So if you look carefully at this through the magnifying glasses, you can see a series of notches have been formed by the new grooves. If you look at it this way round, <coughs> if you rotate it, you can see, see the, the sharpness of the metal where, where the cuts have been made with the file following the previous grooves. What we're going to do now is just to remove any burrs or small metal particles. Now all we've got to do is reassemble it.
here we need to just line up the two holes with the where the screws came out and put in the plastic plate it's this way up I think Pour the pepper back into the pepper pot. Top on and fix it. Well, just give it a go. Here we are, working again. Bye.